Okay, so we're here in the Riverland in South Australia in a drip irrigated almond orchard. Uh, the drip system is uh, got two laterals, one each side of the tree, approximately a metre apart, uh, out from the tree. There's an emitter every 600 mil along the drip line here. This one here, uh, we have a probe approximately 15 to 20 centimetres away from the dripper, and another one over here about 60 centimetres away from the emitter. And the idea here is to try to measure the lateral spread. We can see the the, the soil here is quite wet still, even though we've gone a fair way sideways. So the idea of, of these multi-level probes in summer is to get a, an idea of water use that's happening deep in the profile uh, as the almond trees are using their water. There's uh, nine probes on this property and uh, we've, we've scattered them throughout the different soil types. The, the ninth probe is this one here, the, the dual probe, um, on, on this one emitter so we can monitor the lateral spread. So when we talk about the wetting onion uh, with drip irrigation, we're talking about the, the amount of soil below the, the dripper that is being wet. Um, different soil types normally generate a different shape of onion, so a, a clay soil will be more of a, a fatter onion and not quite so deep, whereas a, in a sandy soil it might be more like a, a bit of a carrot shape or a long skinny onion, which is um, not, it's very difficult to create lateral spread. So in this particular example, with the almonds on sandy soil, we really do want to get a, a quite wide lateral spread using two drip lines, but, but uh, um, it's very difficult in sand, so it takes careful irrigation management. So the more water we put on uh, with pulse irrigation, we can spread water sideways. But we also have to fight gravity, which wants to pull it downwards, and, and, and we don't want to go below one metre uh, on these sandy soils. We think that'll be wasted.